A San Diego jury has awarded more than $46 million to a man who suffered a catastrophic spinal injury during a beginner jiu-jitsu class five years ago. Jack Greener was enrolled at Del Mar Jiu-Jitsu Club in 2018 when he was pinned to the mat by an instructor who placed his entire body weight on Greener's neck, according to the lawsuit. The extreme force of the maneuver crushed Mr. Greener's cervical vertebrae, causing the student to fall limp, paralyzed in all extremities, according to the statement from his law firm. So what's a broken neck? A broken neck, also known as a cervical fracture, is a serious injury that can have severe consequences for the individual who experiences it. So let's explore the anatomy of the neck, the types of fractures that can occur, and the potential consequences of a broken neck. Firstly, let's start with the anatomy of the neck. The human neck is comprised of seven vertebrae, known as C1 through C7. These vertebrae are stacked on top of each other and are separated by intervertebral discs that act as shock absorbers. The neck also contains many important structures such as the spinal cord, nerve roots, and major blood vessels that supply the brain. There are two main types of fractures that can occur in the neck, stable and unstable fractures. Stable fractures are those that do not cause any significant damage to the spinal cord or nerve roots. They typically occur in the lower part of the neck and are often caused by a sudden forceful movement such as a car accident or a fall. Unstable fractures, on the other hand, are those that cause damage to the spinal cord or nerve roots. They are typically caused by a more severe injury, such as a high-speed car incident or a fall from a great height. These fractures require immediate medical attention as they can cause paralysis or even death. The potential consequences of a broken neck, depending on the severity of the injury, a broken neck can cause a wide range of symptoms, including pain, numbness, weakness, and paralysis. In the most severe cases, a broken neck can result in respiratory failure, which can be life-threatening. In Jack's case, he paid the ultimate price with quadriplegia as a result of the injury, which is paralysis of all four limbs. Treatment of a broken neck typically involves immobilization of the neck using a brace, a collar. In some cases, surgery might be necessary to stabilize the spine and prevent further damage to the spinal cord. Physical therapy may also be recommended to help restore function and mobility to the neck and surrounding areas.